So today we're going to be talking about the key and differentiating feature in progressive supranuclear palsy, also known as PSP. Number one, it's progressive. It's a progressive neurodegenerative disorder. It's supranuclear. And what that means is it's above supra, the nucleus, and the nuclei are for moving the eyes. And it's a palsy. The eyes don't move properly. PSP. And the key and differentiating feature that we're looking for is down gaze. And it's not really that down gaze comes first. It doesn't. It's because down gaze is more specific for PSP. A lot of people have up gaze paresis just from age related disease or they have Parkinson's. They don't have PSP. So as you get older and older, you can't look up. That is a supranuclear palsy. And so therefore the validity of an up gaze paresis for making the diagnosis of PSP is not as good as the specificity of the down gaze palsy. So when we have the down gaze palsy, the person cannot look down or they have impaired down gaze. And so we're gonna use something to prove that it's supranuclear. And the way that we can prove it's supranuclear is by using the doll's head maneuver. As you know, the vestibular ocular reflex will move to counter roll the eyes in the opposite direction. And so when they can't look down voluntarily, if we move their head down and then up, the eyes will, can passively move in response to the vestibular ocular reflex. That VOR is talking directly to the vertical gaze center and the eyes will move. That will prove it supranuclear. So PSP is a progressive supranuclear palsy, a neurodegenerative disorder. It has other features. But today's lesson is why down gaze? Because down gaze is more specific for PSP and up gaze isn't. You have to prove it's supranuclear by doing a doll's head maneuver. And if you have a patient who has Parkinsonism and can't look down and it's supranuclear, you should be changing the diagnosis to PSP because Parkinson's disease doesn't cause a down gaze palsy.